we've got our example. So we're just going to look at seven data points. They're the maximum temperatures recorded in a week in January in Melbourne. Um, we're going to use those data set data points to find the standard deviation of this set of data. Um, and then we're going to compare it to um, just using the standard deviation kind of operation on the calculator. Um, I've picked to do standard deviation here because I think it's something that at school um, a lot of the times you learn how to do it on the calculator, but you don't necessarily learn what the calculation actually means um, and how to, and how to actually do it. So I thought it might be a nice thing to kind of talk through here because it is something that will come up a lot. Alrighty, so I'm just going to bring up my calculator. And the first thing we're going to do is enter those data points. So same as we were talking about in our previous lesson, um, we're going to go into the statistics menu and we're going to put those seven data points into a list. So we're going to press stat. Uh, and enter on edit um, and in our list one we're going to enter those data points so our first one was 29 uh, then we had 23 26 24 32 35 and 19 so there's our seven days all together I've just brought us back to the example for a second because now we've entered the data points I want to look at the calculation that we're actually going to be doing. So with our standard deviation in case you have this this uh, formula there doesn't make a huge amount of sense I've also written out what each of those symbols means in words because um, I think that makes it a bit clearer. So what we're going to do is we're going to take each value on that list we're going to minus the mean of those seven points of data from that particular value um, then we're going to square each of those values. So we're going to end up with seven points of um, seven data points altogether, which is the value minus the mean squared for each of those. Um, then we're going to add all of those together. And then we're going to divide it um, by the number of data points minus one. So if we've got seven data points altogether, we're going to divide it by six. Um, and then we're going to take the square root of that as well. And that's going to give us our standard deviation. All right. So how are we going to do that? Well, I'll show you. Okay, so this is going to look quite a lot like what we did yesterday. So like I said, we're going to take each of these numbers. Um, so we're going to take all of, so we've got our, the top of our list two highlighted here, which means that we can enter in a formula. So we're going to take all of the values in list one. So again, second one to bring up list one. And then we're going to minus the mean. And I'm going to find the mean calculation by going second stat. Um, and then across to maths and then number three is the mean if I if you remember we did that in the last lesson as well so down to down to the mean and then we're going to minus the mean of list one from each of those values so I'm going to press enter there we go and there they are and then the next thing that we had to do after that was to square all those values as well so in my list three um, again I've got the top of the cell highlighted so I can input a formula um, I'm going to take each of the values in list two and square them and press enter. All right, so there's all of my values in my list three of those squared numbers. Now, the next thing we have to do is add all of those together. Now, I'm going to do this back in my main screen. So second and mode to quit using that quit um, second function on top of the mode. Um, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back into those list operations again. So second stat to get my list up. Um, across to the maths part again um, and this time I'm instead of using the mean I'm going to use the sum which is number five so that's going to add together um, all of those values those squared values we had in the list three so again I'm going to add those together um, then the next thing I had to do was I was going to divide those by six remember it was like that n minus one so the number of data points minus one so seven minus one gives us six and I can even divide it by 7 minus 1 if I wanted to instead of dividing it just straight by 6. Okay, and there we go. There's our answer there. And then the very, very last thing I had to do was take the square root. So second and the squared gives me my square root. And I'm taking the square root of that answer there. Okay, so 5.52. Now the last thing I wanted to do was then just to compare that um, by uh, to just compare it with the if I did the standard deviation calculation just using the standard deviation function from those list operations so again I'm going to go second stat to bring up my list operations again across to the maths one there and number seven is my standard deviation so I press number seven um, and I want to find the standard deviation now I want to use my original data set 
So that was in my list one. So I'm going to go second one to bring up my list one. And there I can see my standard deviation and it's exactly the same. So that by hand calculation that we did there um, gives me just as good of an answer as using the standard deviation uh, function on the calculator. So that's just to show you a bit of some of the different things, some of the different operations that you have within those list functions. Um, and if we go through, I'll just give you a quick show as well. There's some other ones as well. So we have things here like you can find the median, you've got minimum, maximum, uh, you've got your um, sum and your product. Um, if we go back to these kind of operations, again, there's a whole lot of different things that we can do in here. So we've got like a cumulative sum of a list um, in these operations. But these ones here are more to do with the lists and the maths part is more to do with um, the different calculations that you would do with those lists, if that makes sense. Um, lastly, what I wanted to, wanted, to, wanted to do was just then show the uh, one variable calculations um, to get your kind of full statistical overview of a set of data. Um, so to get to that, instead of using list, we now use the stat button um, and we go across this calculation section here. And the very first thing there says one variable statistics. So I'm going to press enter on that one. Um, and there's no frequency list. We don't have a frequency for each of those. We're just looking at seven data points um, altogether. So I just want my list one there. Um, and I'm going to calculate the statistical uh, summary here. So we can see here the very first thing, there your X bar is your mean. Um, you've got your standard deviation, which is S of X there. That's the same as that uh, value that we got earlier. Um, your sum of X is 188. There's that one there. Um, and if we scroll down, we can see we've got our five number summary too. So you've got your minimum, Q1, median, Q3, and your maximum as well. Um, <clears throat> so that's our one variable statistics. Now, say for example, our, um, our example had a frequency list involved as well. So now, for example, we've, we're looking at temperatures across January. Um, and these are again the maximum temperatures and I know we'd probably expect to have a lot more variation in this um, but uh, to save time in entering the data we're just going to use those same temperatures again. So for example here now instead of having um, the temperature of 29 occurring on one day we have that occurring on five days, 23 on four days, 26 on 11 days etc etc. Um, it's still a one variable statistic um, because if you were going to list it out, it would be 29 five times, followed by 23 four times, followed by 26 11 times, um, etc, etc. Um, but we consolidate it. So we say how many times does each one of those things occur. All right, so what I'm going to do, I'm just going to enter those uh, new values into a list too. And then I will um, continue on from there. Okay, so there's that frequency list ed entered into my list two, um, exactly the same way we'd, we would do the list one. And from there, we're going to do the, the one variable statistic calculations, but now we're having a frequency list two. So I'm going to go back into stat, across to calc, uh, back into those one variable statistics again. So number one, enter. Um, and now I've got a frequency list in list two. That's already there, um, but if you if it's yours isn't there, you can put it in just by going second and then a number two to get list two. Um, and then I'm going to calculate those again. And there we go. We can see um, there's our um, one variable statistics, and they are slightly different to the ones that we had before. Um, we didn't have that frequency list. Alrighty, well that's it from me for today and I'll see you guys next time.